Hey, what's going on, General Readers? It's Jim, and uh, I am sitting here doing the uh, probably the worst part of uh, making videos, which is waiting for uh, videos to upload onto um, not not upload. I'm sorry, upload is bad too. Waiting for them to upload onto YouTube, um, but waiting for them to come off your SD card and uh, kind of import them onto your Final Cut. Oh my goodness, is this a long process of waiting? Um, but I just shot the uh, rubber band. <laughs> video um, answer on how to do the rubber band trick for my main channel. I did a uh, rubber band magic trick and then this is the answer to it. Um, and literally how I shoot this video is um, I have the bright lights on oh, on the sides over here but pointed away from my hands otherwise my hands would get like um, you see that there how they get this glow on them so I point them away from this giant mouse pad over here that I have um, which I'm just kind of using for a background for this video. I have my two rubber bands, my props um, and then I have uh, my DSLR Canon T3i pointed straight down uh, right at the rubber bands um, and then uh, my Sam uh, Samson micro phone here uh, doing the audio recording and that's running straight to my iMac back here so that way uh, I can have good crisp clean audio um, when I shot the trick video I didn't uh, <laughs> I didn't use that microphone so the audio is a really big muffle because I was using just the internal mic on the Canon T3i which is actually back here so as I'm kind of talking oh wow look you guys can see my reflection hey what's going on um, but as I'm, as I'm talking, it's all the way over here, so if the sound probably bounced off the table and then into the camera. So it just doesn't sound as crisp, crisp and clean. So for the answer video, uh, I'm recording the audio separate. But who knew so much went into a stupid little magic trick tutorial video? <sighs> anyway, all right, I'll talk to you guys later.